Hi, Jazzeep. Really well done on these essays. They're looking really very good. Um, what we'll do is we'll look at them a little more closely and see if there's any areas that we can improve on. Um, so the first one was your question on doing an enjoyable activity where the child can develop better skills and more creativity than reading. To what extent do you agree? Use reasons and specific examples to explain your answer. Good. And I can see at the top as well that you've done a quick plan, which is great too. It's a good habit to get into for um, preparing for the exam. Let's look at the writing itself then. So your answer. Many times children devote less time to enjoyable activities in favour of reading. However, activities such as playing video games and sports can better develop skills and creativity. This essay will use examples from Harvard and the American Sports Association to prove this argument. Okay, so good introduction there. Um, you've used a nice structure, so to um, outline the question, um, one side and the other side, and then to say what this essay will do. So that's a strong start to an essay's good. Um, many times children devote less time. Um, so we could say instead of many times, we could say children frequently devote less time to enjoyable activities in favour of reading. Okay. How however, activities such as playing video games and sports can better develop skills and creativity. Good. This essay will use examples from Harvard and the American Sports Association. So American Sports with a capital S Association with a capital A to prove this argument. Okay. So firstly, comma, playing on games consoles, so G-A-M-E-S, games consoles, can develop more skills than, with an N, reading alone. This is because, when playing on consoles, one can develop spatial, reflexive and cognitive skills that would be impossible to develop with just reading. Okay, um, you could say here instead of with just reading, through reading alone. All right. For example, recent studies by Harvard showed that children playing two hours a week on consoles, such as Sony PlayStation or Nintendo Cube. So with your such as, that is a subordinate clause. So we want on consoles, comma, such as Sony PlayStation or Nintendo Cube, comma, outperformed their counterparts by 20% in psychometric tests. Good, well done. Therefore, the advantages of playing on game games with an S, consoles, are clear and give an opportunity to a child to progress in areas neglected by just reading. So, um, good. The advantages of playing on games consoles are clear and provide opportunities for children to progress in areas neglected by just reading. Okay. Um, secondly, too much reading may be a burden on the children and activities like sport could help them de-stress. Well done. Good. That's a great um, viewpoint and also well explained. This is because sport introduces children to different dynamics such as competition and physical exercise while keeping the fun aspect intact. Okay. For example, the American Sports Association, again capital letters, capital S, capital A Association, noted that children who played sports every day were considerably less anxious than their fellows. Here, instead of fellows, peers, P-E-E-R-S. Consequently, good, fun and enjoyable activities like sport provide various mental benefits to children over reading alone. Okay, well done. Now, these are two very impressive paragraphs. Um, I've noticed how you started with your point, you've given some really strong, relevant evidence, and then you've rounded off with a good sentence to show how this links to the question, which is really good. And you've done the same in this paragraph too. So very well done. That's a really um, well-structured main part of your essay. Okay. To conclude from the examples and arguments given, comma, I firmly believe that a child can develop more skills while doing an enjoyable activity rather than just reading. In the future, I hope that children will be encouraged to take part in these activities maybe um, um, to take part in these activities as well as reading 
or um, um, rather than reading instead of over. Okay, but yeah, very well done. Um, I like the fact as well that you've used in the future, I hope that. So this is a good kind of projection towards the future, which gives a good impression on the examiner um, after they've read your essay. So yes, some very, very strong points in there, really good. Only a couple of parts of the language that we would change, um, as we mentioned. Um, there are a couple of parts that you can maybe take to the next level. So I see that you've highlighted some of the language that was important to use um, and that you've, for example, used this is because twice. So to, to push your um, writing even further, normally it's good to use a structure once and then to use an alternative the next time. Okay. Um, also, we could say the same for, for example, so we've used it once here, is there an alternative that we could use here, so for example here, maybe for instance here, or um, to illustrate this, or a prominent example is the American Sports Association which noted that children who played sports, da da da. Okay, but yes, very well done, a really strong um, piece of writing there, great work. Uh, okay, so that was your first one on enjoyable activities, skills and creativity. The next one is this one, the interesting question about um, how some people think that schools should be more entertaining, whereas others think that their sole purpose is education. And we're looking at which do you agree with, using specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay, so similar to the last time, but we're talking more about schools this time, rather than reading and creativity. So again, you've got your plan at the top. Again, very good skill to have. Even if you only plan very briefly, it gives you a kind of roadmap for getting through your essay especially in the stress of an exam as well because there's nothing worse than getting halfway through the essay and thinking I don't know which way I'm going with this or I feel a bit lost so it's good to have a plan to rely on so well done for doing that is good okay so let's look at your answer uh, it is sometimes said that the sole purpose of schools is to educate. However, due to rise in gaming culture and importance of physical exercise in daily routine, I strongly believe that schools should opt for a more entertaining approach. This essay will use examples from real-world companies like Topper and Oxford to prove this argument. Okay, well done. Good. One thing I will say, so real world companies like Topper, okay, and Oxford, are you referring to Oxford as a company? In which case I'm not aware of that one, so it might just be that I don't know that one. Or are you referring to Oxford University or something else in Oxford? So just a, a question to throw out there. Um, okay, good. So it is sometimes said that the sole purpose of schools is to educate. Okay. Um, this first phrase, it is sometimes said, I would say that um, we could go for something with a, a bit more clout here, with something a little bit stronger, and say possibly it is often stated, okay, because this gives you a, a stronger start to your um, essay, you're showing uh, surety that it is often stated that the sole purpose of schools is to educate, okay. However, due to um, a rise in gaming culture and the importance of physical exercise in daily routine. I strongly believe that schools should opt for a more entertaining approach. Um, good. So here, I would say that we just need a little bit more in that sentence to say an entertaining approach to what? So an entertaining approach to teaching, for example, or learning. We could use either. This essay will use examples from real-world companies like Topper and Oxford to prove this argument. Okay. Firstly, students like to gamify their education. Good, yeah, really strong sentence there. Um, the next one, this is because gaming culture has gained massive popularity uh, during the 21st century. Here. One notable example is of a startup company called Topper. They educate school subjects in a gamified approach, i.e. with quizzes and leaderboards, through a mobile application. Good, well done. Great example there. It gained so much popularity that they now have a physical school. 
Therefore, it is shown that students like to study in video game format. Okay, well done. Good. Um, okay. It's shown that students like to study in video game format. I would say with that last sentence there, if we just scroll back up to the question, um, um, you could link this directly to your question just to make it crystal clear to the examiner. So, therefore, it is shown that students like to study in video game formats, um, showing more entertaining forms of education, for example, or showing that more entertaining forms of education are important. Okay, so just trying to link in that question, make it really, really clear to the examiner. Secondly, good, schools should incorporate regular entertaining sport activities to promote a healthier lifestyle. This is because regular physical activities at an early age could promote healthier lifestyle later in life, could promote a healthier lifestyle later in life. For instance, a recent online article by Oxford showed that 70% of students who had regular sport activities at school, or so who um, participated in regular sport activities at school, retained the habit of daily exercise in their adult lives. Good. Consequently, it can be said that entertaining sport activities at school um, indeed promote healthier lifestyle. Okay a healthier lifestyle um, as well as being a form of education for example okay so again linking to that question always being aware that at the end of every um, paragraph we want to link directly to the question uh, to make that clearer imagine that your whole essay has a line running through the middle which is the question and everything that comes along that line has to be relevant to the question. Now, all of your points here are relevant to the question, which is great, but we need to signpost that to the examiner. So always um, linking directly back to the question. If we've given a point and evidence, why is that important to the question? Okay, so um, just one hint a uh, kind of tip to to just take it that little bit further but these are very well written paragraphs very well constructed as well and some good use of vocabulary so this is because the one notable example etc brilliant um just like we said last time you've got this is because here and got it again here is there a way that you can vary this so to show your range of different structures to the examiner Okay, to conclude from the examples and arguments given, comma, I firmly believe that schools should be more entertaining by incorporating attributes like gamified education and regular sport activities. Okay, uh, it should be more entertaining by... Uh, good, here, instead of incorporating attributes, I would say adopting a-d-o-p-t-i-n-g methods m-e-t-h-o-d-s like gamified education and regular sport activities good in the future i hope that schools will continue to be more and more enjoyable well done good okay so again a good conclusion i like the fact that you've got your in the future part so you're projecting as to to what you think might happen in the future which is a nice way to round off an essay um, yes, a very impressive piece of writing here. It's very well-rounded. It's very nicely structured. Um, the feedback that I've given is just to take it one step further, but it is already of a good level. So very well done. Good work.